Good morning. It's inauguration day. Yay! I had to show our fellow Chicagoans come out as the inauguration begins. What a historic day to share with our little one. He came home from the hospital on election day. So this will always be a big part of, you know, the first, the first months of his life. President-elect Joe Biden and First Lady-elect Dr. Jill Biden are about to come onto the Capitol steps. Mm -hmm. I forgot that there's like entertainment. Yes, afterwards. Um, I'm gonna and get our my, girl Lady Gaga singing the national anthem. I'm about to go get my leftover pizza from yesterday and celebrate this very awesome, momentous, happy occasion. So great. And I just saw our friend Sean tweet that, or he like retweeted something that was like, you know, this isn't all of the answers, like aren't going to magically appear with Joe Biden, but it's just hope and relief. Right. It's just a turning of a chapter for everyone mm -hmm. in America and across the world. Yes. And there she is, Madam Vice President, just took the oath. Congratulations, Mr. President. There it is. The new President of the United States of America, Joseph Biden. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! So yesterday when me and James took a little nap, it was another attempt to try and get him to nap in our room just to see if you get one solid nap um, in their day and then I fell asleep with him. Today I did fall asleep just for a couple of minutes with him but now he's been in there for so long by himself and I don't know what to do with myself. So I actually have been able to get a bunch of laundry folded and done. I'm also cooking some dinner. I'm like making rice maybe some other sort of salad to have with the ratatouille leftovers. We cannot decide on what we're going to do tonight. The inauguration televised event is happening around 8.30, um, but we also didn't go out yesterday and kind of just need the fresh air, so we're kind of torn. Like, maybe we'll just go, I don't know, on a neighborhood walk or something, or we have a Magic Kingdom park pass. This guy's still working. But, um, split second, what should we do? Stay home. Yeah? Maybe we, maybe we can go on a walk? Yeah, if we go on a walk, because I really want to watch. It's, it's just like an inauguration like none other because of COVID. Like, the concert usually doesn't happen. There's usually a ball. Right, but I don't think they televise that. And it's not, there's not, there's like performers from all across the country. Like, that doesn't mm -hmm. happen. Yeah. And it's at 8.30, and I think it's our patriotic duty to watch it. Okay, I think that I'm going to do some more. So that tomorrow we can go out. <laughs> yeah, so maybe we'll go on a walk or something? Yeah. Because maybe when he wakes up, he'll be chipper to just like go in the, um, the bassinet. Alrighty, here is our dinner situation. We have leftover ratatouille and basmati rice. Potatoes with lemon and oregano. A salad. One of our, like, my classic salad, but with an addition of avocado and artichokes. And the baby stirs. He's been, he's been asleep for like three hours. I think that is a nap time record. An exciting day in politics. Sarah and I remember so vividly the inauguration four years ago. And it was like how down we felt. But also how like we still held hope for when that was over. Um... <laughs> 7.50, we're gonna go on a little walk to get some fresh air, go to 7-Eleven, maybe get a little treat. Goal is to be back by 8.30 to watch the Celebrate America inaugural concert by hosted by none other than Tom Hanks. So you know, how do you not, how do you not support Tom and everything he also supports? Wait, look at this little kid. 
These two yeah, just got out of their pajamas. He's got Mickey Mouse ears on his sweater. Diverting the topic. <laughs> <laughs> so, and also, Evers. Evie girl. Evie girl. You wanna go outside? Let's go. <laughs> Come on. You're coming with. Let's go outside. Take an elevator, take an elevator in our apartment to go downstairs. Also, because we're leaving in 36 days, I'm starting to feel more lenient about the securities of where we live. Not that we're going to be giving out our address or showing our apartment. He's way bigger than the last time he was in this resident. <laughs> just saying. I was just thinking about how we need to probably go on a lot more of these. Like, pretty much whenever we don't go out, we should be going on walks like this that are this long or, or way longer probably. Just so we can like soak up because when we go to Chicago, it's gonna be the end of February. Oh true. It could still snow then, like it's not. Like seriously snow. Like seriously snow, like it's not gonna, at times. Look at his feet up. First of all, he hasn't had a, pip, a peep of noise, but he just popped his leg up there. He's like, I'm just chilling. Right. Just chilling in my bassinet. You waving? Hi, Jamesy boy. Eve's love and life. Sarah's got to do, does have work to do yeah. tonight, so I might have to shift my run to Friday, which is my off day. But I like, oh, yeah, I have like a sense of freedom now that I know my two days off a week that I can like give and trade and yeah. and switch around best to our abilities and not feel bad for taking it out because in reality I'm gonna pay for it because I'm gonna go more days in a row. All right, I'm running into 7 Eleven looking for Red Bulls and Sarah wants a donut. So. I don't think I'm gonna get anything else, but maybe I will. Maybe I'll see something that'll spark my fancy. But then we're gonna head back, because in not too long from now, uh, Celebrating America begins. And I'm very excited. And I don't want to miss the beginning. I just imagine a, a classic Americana Tom Hanks monologue. Look at these two good kids. Just waiting. Peter just called. Oh gosh, I gave my order, and we'll be headed home soon. And with that, we got Red Bulls and a donut for Sarah. And I got a cookie. <laughs> and he's zonked. Zonk City. And Matt, how much time do we have before Ooh. it starts? I don't know my watch on, so I think it's like minutes. All right. I don't know if we missed the monologue, but we literally walked in. The clock's at 8.30. We also left our baby in. Oh, he's awake. We didn't miss him. My hero, Tom Hanks. What? <laughs> Look at the fireworks and the president. <laughs> That's so good. So good. I'm very proud of today. Look at that. Woo! A little celebration of the inauguration. Sarah just said it as that amazing finale, and if you weren't watching it, watch it. If you weren't, if you're not in America, you should watch the finale. It's probably gonna be on YouTube. It was the best fireworks display I've ever seen in my entire life, and I didn't even see it in person. Sarah says, "I think Disney donated every single fireworks show that they haven't put on in the past 12 months to the Capitol because that was that was insane. I was insane. like, oh, it's still going, and oh, it was it's beautiful, still going. and it was. I truly think Tom Hanks missed out on an opportunity to say. And that's all I have to say about that. As, as a sign off? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's Forrest, what Forrest Gump, Forrest says, Gump says, says that. At the, at the exact same place he just left. At the exact same place. You want to say cute baby sleeping? This is a cute baby that's quietly and sweetly asleep that says, Godspeed to our president and vice president. He's very happy for the new administration to begin. He's awfully fresh, and he's already lived through so many historic events. Yes. He's got a big noggin with lots of, lots of healthy veins. Look at his little body parts twitch while he sleeps. It's so cute. Little hand. Oh, he's a little dude already. Sleepy kids. Are you ready for bed? Are you ready for bed? And I am ready for bed, so I am going to do the daily message. What would you attempt to do if you knew you could not fail? Robert H. Schuller. So it is just going to be me signing off tonight. I feel good about the work I did, not quite finished yet, um, but definitely good to be back working on my freelance video work. I'm gonna get the little baby ready for bed 
and just sleep soundly on this inauguration day. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.